we're gonna do the reset button. We're gonna be doing a kitchen cabinet today. Let's do don't save, reset, check our units. Metric centimeters perfect. And do file save as. Unit four, we're gonna call this one kitchen cabinet. Now that that's done, we're gonna go make in the top view a box. Like so and the height. We're gonna go to the modify and we're gonna change the length of this box to 38, the width to 45, and the height to 76. From there now we're gonna go move it to the center of the box of the grid. Go back to perspective view and you see we have our beautiful box. Hit save so we have an increment save going. Next, we're going to right click on the box and we're going to convert it to an edible poly. From there, we're going to open up the polygon and we're going to grab the top face, hold control, and the bottom face. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go click the detach button. From here, we're going to detach it. It's what we call object 001 and we're going to press OK. So now we detached our tops and our bottom. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the object or one we just made from the scene and we're going to activate the polygon option. And then we're going to go use the extrude, the caddy of it, and we're going to extrude them the height of 5. extrude. There we go, now it works. And we're going to type in 5. Is the cancel and, and reactivate it for it to work. <coughs> You're going to press OK. There you go. And now that we have it looking like that, we're also going to move it by 3 units in the positive X direction. So we're going to go to the move. We're going to go X and we're going to move it 3. So we're going to go to type here. 3, and you notice it moved it in the positive direction. Now that we have done that, the next step we're going to do is we're going to go click on the top one, top polygon, and we're going to extrude again. This time we're going to extrude it in the 5 again and we're going to press OK. And then we're going to go similar to the bottom. Oh, sorry, not the front. We did the top, sorry. So we did the setting, we extruded it. So you can see here it's extruded one more up. And now we're going to go and extrude the front polygon by 3 units. So we're going to go click on this polygon here, and we're going to extrude 3. And press OK. Now we're going to go to Edge, and we're going to select the edges you see here. This edge here. We're going to make sure we click back the box, click on edge, and click this edge here, and this edge over here. Now that we, we've selected them, what we're going to do is we're going to use the connect option. So we're just going to go and use the connect. This gives us a line down the middle. one here 
and this one here. settings for the insert. When the edge was popping on, sorry, it was this one here and this one. And we're going to click on settings of insert and we are going to go type in these numbers here. We're going to go type in, this is going to be by group, we're going to go to the insert amount. I have two and then press OK. Now we're going to go to the settings of the extrude. Extrude polygons, and now we're going to change the height to 1.5, and we're going to press OK. Something's wrong with my, poly my base here, so let's see if I can fix it. Polygon, let's go to the object. Polygon, let's click on this face here and let's see if we can move it. No, let's go back. Apply to vertexes. No, let's do edge. Let's do this edge here and let's move it three. I think it was this was what it was. There we go. And I think this one here, we're going to click. The polygon. We're going to move this one here, negative three back. It was making more sense before, it looked a little weird. So now we have this piece here. It does something like this. I think it was like this is supposed to be. Same thing goes over here. I don't know why I did that. Let's go to edge. We're going to move it back negative three. So this makes sense because we have a little kick play underneath, I guess. But the rest, I don't know why we had clicked that side. We see here we have it flat. This makes a little bit more sense than before. We're also just going to make this one, I don't know why it's like that. We're going to make this one straight instead. Let's click this face here, and we're going to move it back three. So now it's starting to make a little bit more sense, like a cabinet. I don't know what I was doing before. This technically could be lined up with this piece. Yeah, so we're going to do this guy here. We're going to grab this polygon. And we're going to move it. I think it's three. No, negative six. There we go. And we're going to grab this polygon here. And move this one. Negative three. We have a little bit of us coming out. See, this one looks makes a little bit more sense. What's this? Let's go. I think I should have did edge. Let's do edge again. This way, you have this edge here, and move the same way. <coughs> there. Now it's one whole piece. We have it going back here. Looking good now. Yeah. So now back to wireframe. Let's save it and continue. Okay, so now with the box back to select it, we're going to go back out of the, we're just going to click on it so it kicks it out and we're going to go use the same command we used before which was the attach command. So let's do six so it gets this out and we're going to go to the attach and we're going to select the object one from it. Press OK. 
another do union together. Now that we union them together, we're going to rename this cabinet. We're going to go to the edges now. And we're going to select the outside of the drawers, so the edges of the drawer. So this one here, and this one here. And we're going to loop them. Oops, I thought that would work. So we're going to go to I think, did I, did I extrude them right? Let's go check. Polygon. I don't have the gap. I think I should have made a little bit of a gap between them. So what I can do, let's see if this works. Again, this is me playing around with it. If I go to this edge here, and I move this down, say, along the Z, negative 2. Oh no, they're together. Let's see if I undo a few steps where it stops. Okay, so it's another still separate. Maybe I should click now that I could have just did it from there, but now let's do an extra step here. Let's do chamfer first. Let's put it at, <coughs> let's do quad chaffer, and let's do it at 1, oh, I said 1, and let's accept. Okay, so now we kind of divided them. Let's go see. Yeah, because now this, if I do polygon, this is one face, this is the other face. Good. So now that we did that, we could do like we said we did before, click on box 1. Press 6 to get out of the command, and we're going to attach it, selecting object 1, so now it's all 1. We're going to rename this to cabinet. Alright, then we're going to go with the cabinet selected, we're going to go to polygon, and we're going to select the first face and the second face, so now we corrected that, and we are going to... Maybe we should click this face first and extrude it back. Oh, Rob's having fun here. Let's just drag it back, see what happens. Oh, they're all together. Let's go out of here, delete the faces. Control, look at that. Delete this. So now they're independent from each other. Look at that. Now I did that, so now if I go do polygon again, and I collect one, two, and I were to first, let's do a, let's chamfer them. Actually, instead of doing polygon, let's do edges. That would be easier. Now if I select this edge here, and this one here, would it do the loop for me? No. So go here, click this one. Let's rotate, make sure we have the same one. <laughs> Click this one, this one, this one, and this one here. We're going to chamfer it. And we are going to chamfer it to the quad type. And we're going to chamfer it to 0.3. And then press OK. Let's go see how it looks. There you go. If I want to make them stick out a little bit more, I can. If I want to do polygon, here I go one, two. Let's just extrude them a bit and let's extrude them by one. And like this, if I do clay, you see here? Oh, I, I got the, I deleted the hole there. So let's see if I can fix that. Let's see. Let's see if I can do undo first. No. Let's go back 
video. So let's see if we can fix this. Let's go to edge uh, boundary. Let's go to wireframe. And let's go click this one here. And let's just put cap. Now if I go look in clay, see? And we capped it again, and it's perfect. So we have our drawers, and that's it. Let's just put it in perspective view. Let's put it in wireframe so you guys can see it. So there you go. This is how you can build a simple cabinet in 3ds Max. Thank you so much.